The Fairfield Foundation of Gloucester County, Virginia presents Save Our History, school kids learning about local history and how to preserve it, with funding from the History Channel. Rosewell, the historic home of the Page family, represents one of the most unique and impressive brick mansions in Virginia. Completed in the 1730s, the house dominated a landscape of tobacco and grain cultivation. Today, the ruins of the historic house tower above the ground, which conceals the archaeological evidence of the buildings that once supported the large plantation. The Rosewell Foundation works to maintain the ruins from further deterioration, as well as teach the public about Rosewell's families and history. They do have a visitor center up there and an archaeology lab where we generally work. So if you guys want to come back, bring your parents. You can actually see the museum and the video and the archaeology lab. Um, it's, it's well worth a visit, I think, and hopefully you'll agree with me after you walk around. But we're not going to go to the visitor center today, so we're just going to see the actual ruins itself. All right? Okay. Well, let's move on a little closer to the house, and we'll give you the, the site tour. So it burned down 92 years ago, and it's still standing. That's sort of a, a, a pretty good testament as to how well this building was built uh, in the 1720s when it was constructed. 1720s, 1730s. Very old structure. It's actually very close in date to Kapahosik House. Um, but you get to see two very different histories that have happened uh, to these properties. So the Page family uh, built this house in the 1720s and 30s. Um, and it was the biggest house in Colonial Virginia. It was also one of the most impressive in terms of um, the quality of the brickwork the decorative, decorative elements of the brick, as well as the stonework. You see the stone parts of the chimney up? All that stone was cut and made in England and shipped over here to be put in this building. Because they're using lots of imported material from England, they may have brought over some specialized uh, brick masons and things from England uh, or used some in the colony because in the 1720s and 30s, a lot of these brick structures were starting to be built. This was sort of the new style that was coming out. Um, but the Page family also had a lot of slaves, and so slaves would have, would have done a lot of the work that goes into building this building. Okay, tell us your name. Emma. And what did you enjoy about the field trip today? Um, I think history is really cool, so I enjoyed looking at the buildings and listening to you guys speak. We are in Rosewell's garden. <laughs> Look all around you. The reason we know we're in Rosewell's garden it's not only because you see this bush over to my left. Do you see this thing? Bush. Okay. Let's look at the bush. This is a boxwood. It's not a very pretty boxwood, but we believe this is a remnant boxwood, perhaps from when the Pages owned Rosewell Plantation. Robert, get over here! Robert! Oh. That is the ice house. That's you! What is this? Your ice house? Yes, you're gnarly! Just come here, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> Rosewell is Gloucester's most accessible plantation landscape. The site is open to the public, and visitors can tour the property and visitor center daily.